Hello everyone, this is Cleo Fe again and for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this one skein wrap. This is requested by Simply Me. She is asking if I can make a tutorial on this wrap. And Simply Me, here it is! This pattern is free to download at yarnspirations.com and the name of the pattern is one skein wrap and here I printed a copy for me to follow as I make my project. The finished dimension according to the pattern is 24 inches by 68 inches and what's missing in the pattern is the size of the crochet hook but if you go online and go down to the comment section it says there that they are using size N hook. House. So use size N hook to get the dimension of 24 by 68 inches. For the materials and according to the pattern, use one skein of Caron one pound yarn, this one, in cream color. Instead of using size N hook, I'm using size J 6 millimeter crochet hook, blunt needle, scissors, marker and tape measure. So let's start with a knot and chain 159. So this is now 159 chains. Row 1. Start with DC3 tog working over 4th chain from hook and next 2 chains. So, 4th chain from hook, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to start our DC3 tog. So to DC3 tog, we're going to yarn over, insert in the 4th chain, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert in the next chain, right here, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now there are four loops in the hook. Yarn over and pull through all loops. So this is how we start row one. DC3 tog. And this is what it looks like. Chain one. Treble in next chain then chain one two times so to treble we're going to yarn over twice insert in the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops and we just did a treble crochet then chain one then we're going to do this um, again this one in the next chain. So yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, chain one. So that's two times, treble chain one two times. Now we're going to treble, chain one, treble in next chain. So in this next chain, we're going to do treble crochet, Chain one and treble crochet in the same stitch. And this is what it looks like so far. 
Now chain one, treble in next chain, two times. So chain one, treble in next chain, right here. So this is the first one. Treble crochet. Then chain one again. So this is the first one. Chain one and treble crochet in next chain. And this is the second one. So chain one, treble crochet in the next chain two times. Now next is chain one. DC 7 tog over next 7 chains. So starting in the next chain, here, this will be our first chain and we're going to do it 7 times. So yarn over, insert in the first chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through 2 loops. This is the first one. Then yarn over, insert in the second chain. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then yarn over, insert in the third chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. In yarn over, insert in the fourth chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert in the fifth chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert in the sixth chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And the last one, yarn over, insert in the seventh chain, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And then there should be eight loops in the hook. Two, four, six, eight. Yarn over and pull through all eight loops. And we just did our DC seven tog over next seven chains. Then chain one. And this is what it looks like. Now next is to continue, treble in next chain, chain one, two times. So treble in next chain, chain one. So this is the first one. Then another one in the next chain, treble. Chain one, and this is the second one, so twice. Treble and chain one, twice. <clears throat> now next is treble, chain one, treble in next chain. So treble in next chain. Chain one, and treble in the same stitch. Then chain one, treble in next chain two times. So chain one, treble in next chain. And this will be the first one. And we're going to do another one. <clears throat> so the first one and then chain one again and treble crochet in the next stitch. So this will be the second one. So we're going to do it twice. And then chain one, then repeat this is how it looks like, what it looks like. Then repeat from the asterisk. So repeat from DC7 tog again. So on the next stitch, yarn over, insert in the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over in the second stitch, insert in the second stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, Yarn over, insert in the third stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert in the fourth stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, 
pull through two loops, yarn over, insert in the fifth stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert in the sixth stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, Insert in the seventh stitch, the last one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Eight loops in the stitch, in the hook, yarn over and pull through all eight loops. And then chain one. Then treble in next chain, chain one two times. So treble in next chain. Chain one, this is the first one. Treble again in next chain. And chain one for the second one. Then treble, chain one, treble in next chain. So on this chain, treble. Chain one and treble in the same stitch. Then chain one, treble in next chain two times. So chain one, treble in next chain. This is the first one. Chain one, <coughs> treble in next stitch for the second one. And then chain one. So this is what it looks like so far. So the art represents one repeat. So I'm going to show you one more repeat. So from here, we're going to do DC, C, DC 7 tog again. <clears throat> so this is the first one. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. And seventh. Then yarn over, pull through all loops. Chain one, treble, chain one, two times. The so treble, chain one, treble, next stitch, chain one for the second one. Then treble, chain one, treble in same stitch. Chain one and treble in the same stitch. Then chain one, treble in next stitch two times. So chain one, treble in next stitch for this first one. Chain one, treble in next stitch for the second one. And then chain one. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did my DC7 tog chain one. And then I'm just going to continue with treble chain one two times. So treble in next stitch. Chain one for the first one. Treble again in the next stitch. Chain one for the second one. Then treble, chain one, treble in the next stitch. So treble, chain one, treble in the same stitch. Then chain one, treble in next stitch two times. So chain one, treble in next stitch for the first one. Chain one, treble in the next stitch for the second one. Then chain one. Now at this point, we're about to end. There are four stitches left. So one, two, three, four. To end this row, we're going to DC four tog over these last four stitches. So to DC four tog, yarn over, insert, in the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert in the second stitch, yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over, pull through two loops, insert in the yarn over, insert in the third stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert in the fourth stitch, the last one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through all five loops. So this is how to end row one, and this is what row one looks like. And there should be 13 arcs representing 13 pattern repeats. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Row two. So from here, we're going to turn. Chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in next chain one space. So this is the chain one space here. Double crochet on this stitch, on this space. Then double crochet in next treble and double crochet in next chain one space five times. So in the next treble crochet, which is this one, so double crochet in this stitch. And double crochet in the next chain one space here and we're going to do this five times over the next stitches so this is the first one this is the second one DC in next treble and DC in next space this is the second one and then third one DC in next treble DC in chain one space third one DC in next treble again for the fourth one and DC in the chain one space and then DC in next treble for the fifth one fifth time and DC in the chain one space so this is what it looks like then Double crochet in the next treble here. Then DC to tog over next two chain one spaces, skipping the DC seven tog in between. So to DC to DC to tog, we're going to yarn over, insert in the chain one space right here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, then yarn over, we're going to skip this DC 7 tog stitch and do the next stitch here. So yarn over, insert in this chain one space, skipping this one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we just did our DC two tog over next two next two chain one spaces. Next is DC in next treble and double crochet in next chain one space five times. So double crochet in the next treble crochet and double crochet in the next chain one space right here and we're going to do this five times so this is the first one dc in next treble and dc in next chain one space this is the second one dc in next treble dc in next chain one space for the third time dc in the next treble and DC in next chain one space for the fourth time, DC in next treble, DC in next chain one space for the fifth time, and then DC in next treble, double crochet in the next treble. Then repeat from 
asterisk. So repeat from DC2 tog over next chain two cha next chain one two spaces. So again DC2 tog yarn over insert in the chain one space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over skip this one yarn insert in the next space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through all three loops so we just did our dc2 tog again next is dc in next treble dc in next chain one space five times again so double crochet in the next treble right here dc in next chain one space so this is the first one dc in next treble dc in next chain one space for the second one dc in next treble dc in next chain one space for the third time dc in next treble dc in next chain one space for the fourth time and dc in next treble dc in next chain one space for the fifth time then double crochet in the next treble and this is what it looks like after one repeat so i'm just going to show you one more time again one more repeat so dc2 tog again on this point so dc2 tog skip then dc in next treble treble and dc in next chain one space five times So this is the fourth time, DC in next chain one space, DC in next treble for the fifth time, DC in next chain one space, and then double crochet in the next treble. So repeat this pattern across, I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. At this point, I'm going to do the last repeat. So I'm going to do the DC2 tog here. So skip and go to the next chain one space. Then DC in next treble and DC in next chain one space five times. So this is the first time. DC in next treble, DC in next chain one space for the second time. DC in next treble, DC in chain one space for the third time, and then DC in next treble and DC in next chain one space for the fourth time, and then DC in the next treble and DC in the next chain one space for the fifth time, then DC in the next treble. Now to end this row, we're going to do one last DC2 tog. So DC2 tog over last chain one space and the last DC3 to DC3 tog. So yarn over, insert in the chain one space, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert in the DC3 tog stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over, pull through all three loops. So this is how to end this is, we just did the last DC2 tog, and this is how to end row 2, and this is what row 2 looks like.
row three. So from here, we're going to turn, chain three, one, two, three, skip first DC2 tog, so skip this one, and then DC3 tog over next three DC3 uh, double crochet. So starting here, we're going to DC3 tog, so yarn over, insert in the first stitch, right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert in the next stitch, the second stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, in the third one, yarn over, insert in the third stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, there are four loops in the hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. And we just did our DC3 tog stitch. Then chain one, and then treble in next DC double crochet, chain one two times. So treble in the next stitch, chain one, this is our first one, again, treble in the next stitch, and chain one. Then treble, chain one, treble in next double crochet. So in next here in the stitch, treble crochet, chain one, and treble crochet in the same stitch. Then chain one, treble crochet in the next, next DC two times. So chain one, treble in the next stitch. This is the first one. Chain one, treble in the next stitch for the second one. So two times. Then chain one. And we just did one repeat. Then repeat again, D DC7 tug again from here on. So first one, the second one, insert in the second one. Yarn over, insert in the third one. Yarn over, insert in the fourth stitch. Yarn over, insert in the fifth stitch. Yarn over, insert in the sixth stitch. Yarn over, insert in the seventh stitch. And yarn over and pull through all loops. So this is what it looks like. Then chain one. Treble in next DC, chain one two times. So treble in the next stitch, chain one for the first one. This is the first one, then again another one, Dub treble in the next stitch, and chain one. So for this is the second one. Then treble, chain one, treble in the next stitch. So treble crochet in the next stitch. Chain one and treble in the same stitch. Then chain one, treble in the next DC two times. So chain one, treble crochet in the next stitch. This is the first one. Then chain one and treble crochet in the next stitch for the second one. This is what it looks like. And then chain one. And then repeat the pattern again. So from here, DC seven tog again. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, 
sixth and seventh. And then yarn over and pull through all loops. And this is what it looks like so far. Then chain one, treble in next stitch, then chain one two times. This first one, treble, chain one, oopsie. So treble in next stitch and chain one for the second time. And then treble, chain one, treble in the next stitch. So treble in the next stitch, chain one, and treble in the same stitch. Then chain one, treble in next stitch, two times. So chain one, treble in next stitch for the first one. And then chain one, treble in next stitch for the second one. And then chain one. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did the DC7 tog chain one. And then from here, I'm going to do treble, chain one two times. So treble in the next stitch. Chain one the first time, treble in the next stitch, and chain one for the second time. Then treble, chain one, treble in the next stitch. So treble, chain one, and treble in the same stitch. Then chain one, treble two times. So chain one, treble in the next stitch. Chain one, treble in the next stitch, here the last one, and then chain one. Treble and chain one. Now to end this row, there are four stitches left, and we're going to do a, a last DC4 tog uh, over the last four double crochets. So yarn over, insert in the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert in the second stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull, insert in the third stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert in the last stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through all five loops. So this is how to end row three. And this is what row three looks like. And from here, repeat rows two and three until piece measures about 24 inches or your desired measurement. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I have 24 inches of my piece to show you the next step. So this is now what my piece looks like after crocheting about 24 inches in width. And I'm just going to show you this is about 24 inches right here in width and then in length, this is about 52 inches. In the pattern, it says about 68 inches, and the pattern suggests using size and crochet hook, but for me, it is shorter because I'm using size J crochet hook. So cut the remaining yarns into 15 inches. Of, so mine is about 15 inches in length of strands of yarn for my fringe. So holding two strands of yarn, fold it in half, and then 
insert crochet hook like this and fasten the yarn fasten the strands like this for to make the fringes and this is now what my piece looks like all clean up and all done so thank you very much for watching i hope you like this video and please subscribe